I'm here with Veronica from Vittoria. Now you provide the neutral service for the Giro d'Italia, Giro di Lombardia, all those sorts of races. A very tough job, but tell us a little bit about how many vehicles you have on the race. In total we have four vehicles, four cars, plus one moto for the more difficult stages in the mountain. With each car three bikes, 17 wheels, some on the roof, some inside to have a quick change and a quick assistance during the, the stage. I would imagine it's always a challenge to get uh, the rider the rider with the right kind of equipment, especially with the amount of different pedal systems we have. I, I get, is that your biggest problem? Well, it's a problem because you have to serve all the differences, but also with the wheels, Campagnolo and Shimano wheels. But we set every morning the bikes, the wheels and everything in order to be ready. Especially the first car that has to follow the, uh, the first riders will be adapted according to the pedals, according to the sizes also of the bikes. Sounds a bit stressful to me. Let's have a closer look at the car itself. Let's have a close look at the outside of the car. And as you can see straight away, really different setup than the vast majority of team cars. In fact, very, very different. Most team cars in a Grand Tour and the Classics have space for nine bikes, but here we have space for three, because that's all they need. They'll have three sizes of bike, so small, a medium, and a large. And as you can see, uh, Vittoria are partnered up with Pinarello. Uh, they're the brand that supply all the bikes for the Giro, and all the bikes are the same color, but mixture of group sets. So here we have Shimano Ultegra, and then just down here we have Campagnolo Super Record, so a real mix. But interestingly, all of the wheels, they are shod, of course, with Vittoria CX 25mm tyres, but all of the wheels have exclusively Shimano cassettes because Shimano now compatible with 11-speed Campagnolo, so thankfully, no problems there at all. The vast majority of the main pedal manufacturers are represented on every single roof. So we have Look on this bike, we have Durace Shimano on there, and another set of Durace. And if you look just further down to cars one and three, this is car number two, as denoted by number two there on the rims. There's also time pedals in the mix, and the only main brand they don't have are Speedplay. Although we have three different sizes of bikes for that bit of fine tuning that every rider will need, of course, every single bike has a quick release seat pin adjuster just at the top there. Right, let's have a little look to see what's in the boot. Here we go. Unsurprisingly, got a vast array of tools all the toolboxes open, that's obviously saves time on the when they're at the side of the road, they can get access to the tools as quickly as possible. So you've got pretty much everything here, all your different wrenches, Allen keys. There's also a set of tools in the front there. Now it's not just only neutral service that Vittoria offer. If they've got a rider who's exposed and isolated right at the back of the race, for example, they need to make sure that they can give them all they need to get them on their way in terms of nutrition as well. So there's loads of water in here um, and different bidons so they can get isotonic carbohydrate drinks and that's absolutely stock full loads of water too so everything they need to get the rider well on their way right then let's have a look inside nice and spacious as you'd expect now first thing that i can notice straight away is they have two radio systems one is access to race radio so they know exactly what's going on in the race that's just one way they won't ever talk back to race radio but it's important that they know exactly where the riders are and what they need to do and secondly so the second uh, second receiver here and the second set in here is for speaking amongst themselves again so they know exactly amongst the three or four cars that are on the road at any one time what they are doing now as you'd expect lots of different route maps got the radio systems as we said sat nav system there Again, no space is left spared, as it were. Lots of different gels. We've got Namid Sport gels and little energy shots here. Ooh, and a nice shiny tracksuit top as well. Super Italian. Let's go have a look in the back now. Let's do it. So I'm in the back now, rather cozy little area where the mechanic will sit. Three wheels, a couple of back wheels and a front wheel. The reason they have these in the back as well as on the roof is it's far quicker to step out of the car with the wheel already in your hand again could save a few valuable seconds a couple of tools here rather dodgy place to put them but there you go we've got a uh, phillips screwdriver and a multi allen key there that should fit most sizes they can have the tools in the hand and adjust on the fly interestingly they've got a load of caps here again it could be that they uh, experience particularly bad weather and a rider as well as getting service and some nutrition could want a bit of extra warmth so a nice Victoria cap. I think I'll just put that one on. I'm sure they won't mind. And race route and, a, and another couple of tools in the back there as well. 
We also have the, well, an oily rag. I think that at some point was somebody's shirt. But again, I think that's the way in cycling you do things. Recycle the old GCN t-shirts for an oily rag from time to time. And some lube as well. We've also got a cool box in the back here. Again, full of uh, drinks. Again, this will be for the riders as well as the, the people in the car. So we've got Coke here, plenty of uh, isotonic drinks and also water as well. So there we have it, a peek inside the Vittoria neutral service car, a vital cog to keep the Giro d'Italia moving as smoothly as possible. Now for more Giro content, how about heading up to our Giro playlist by clicking just up there. And for a tour of the Mobistar team bus that I did a few days ago, how about clicking just down here. And to subscribe to GCN, click on the noise.